Although Protestant theologians have differed from their Roman Catholic counterparts in many ways, by and large, they haven't greatly altered the basic definition of theology. Charles Hodge of Princeton defined theology in the introduction to his Systematic Theology, Chapter 2, Section 1, as the science of the facts of divine revelation so far as those facts concern the nature of God and our relation to Him. We can see here that Hodge's definition is very similar to Aquinas' definition. Both Aquinas and Hodge described theology as a science. Like Aquinas, Hodge viewed theology mainly as an academic discipline. In fact, he even went so far as to use the methods of natural or physical science in his day as a model for theologians to follow. Listen to the way Hodge compared theology with natural science in the introduction of Systematic Theology, Chapter 1, Section 1. The Bible is no more a system of theology than nature is a system of chemistry or of mechanics. We find in nature the facts which the chemist or the mechanical philosopher has to examine to ascertain the laws by which they are determined. So, the Bible contains the truths which the theologian has to collect, authenticate, arrange, and exhibit in their internal relation to each other. Charles Hodge was a man of the 1800s, and in the 1800s, the word science was used more broadly than it is today. To modern ears, the idea of theology as a science sounds jarring because we think of science as the hard sciences. But in the 1800s, science was an organized, systematic, focused body, body of knowledge that was focused on a particular area of inquiry. So Hodge opens his systematic theology by referring to sciences in his day, such as history, science of geography. We wouldn't think of those as sciences today, but in his day, they, they were sciences. Also, in his day, science and the scientific method had accomplished so very much in the, the century before him that it was very much esteemed as a method for for gaining knowledge. But in addition to that, he wanted to emphasize that theology is the organization of facts. It's not simply the accumulation of facts. So just like in astronomy, an ast astronomer doesn't simply look at the celestial bodies and make a list of facts about them, he or she tries to organize those facts into a, co into a coherent system, and that is astronomy. Uh, in theology, the theologian looks at the facts of the Bible and doesn't just list the facts of the Bible. Uh, but takes those facts of the Bible and organizes them into a system so that we can appreciate the interrelatedness of all those facts each to the others. For Hodge, the task of the theologian was to approach the Bible much like a scientist approaches nature. He was to gather, analyze, and organize the facts of Scripture. Now Hodge also believed that theology should be applied to Christian living. But like Aquinas, Hodge didn't see this as the central focus of formal theology. Rather, he tended to leave application in the hands of ministers and pastors, limiting the actual work of formal theology largely to academics and scholars. In addition to describing theology as a science, Hodge also claimed that there were two main topics in theology. First, the nature of God, and second, our relation to him. This twofold division of theology is similar to Aquinas' distinction between theology proper and general theology.